The search for big fish. For truly exceptional fish of each species begins with an understanding of their nature. You can't catch them if you don't understand them. For most good anglers, the quest to understand becomes a lifelong passion. The seasons play a big role in catching big fish. Peak fishing typically occurs during distinct yearly periods when big fish become more available and vulnerable. The in-fisherman system has long divided the fishing year into 10 calendar periods of fish response. Consider the walleye. One peak period for big fish occurs during late fall. This is the cold water period, and on big water such as Lake Erie and portions of Lake Ontario, like the Bay of Quinte, giant fish follow schools of shad and ciscos in open water. Trolling with crankbaits usually keys the fishing, as anglers must at times search far and wide for feeding fish. Depth control and speed control are critical factors, but so are just the right wobbling lures, which is why anglers toy with various options once fish are found. One of the best plugs is the hard wobbling deep tail dancer, but at times fish prefer the subtle wobble of a husky jerk or even the subtler wobble of the minnow rat. Nice fish. Looks a little longer. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and yes. gigantic again. <laughs> really unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, look at the colors of it. <laughs> that fish is a gnarly nine pounds. Beautiful. Yeah. You did good. Huh? And again, the time period that's so key we're, you know, we're here first week of December, basically the first week of December, yeah. right after Thanksgiving. Big fish time. Big well, fish time. <laughs> we're hitting them now. We've got the pattern down. We've got the vibration pattern down. We've got the depth down, and we've slowed down, so that that's olive the color whole, again. Huh? So we use that olive color, bro. Yep. Yeah. That's the whole equation. Get that all figured out, and you've got yourself a pattern. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll try for one more big fish. The cold water period is a peak big walleye period on other right. waters too. Oh, walleyes yeah. on these right. waters usually hold on traditional structural elements like points on rocky main lake shoals. Here we catch them by casting crankbaits, with the minnow wrap being a particularly top choice. Again, however, many of our biggest fish have been triggered by swim baits like the Berkeley flatback shad or the storm wild-eyed swim shad. As the year continues, we find that other periods can be good for giant walleyes. During winter, many big ones are caught at first ice and particularly on big waters like Lake Winnipeg. Fishing also peaks at last ice. Meanwhile, on rivers, many big fish are caught during late winter and early spring as they enter the pre-spawn period. Once walleyes have spawned and three or four weeks pass, many big fish move back toward shallower water to forage. On reservoirs, much of the action is in creek arms. In natural lakes, some of it happens along main lake weed edges. This, once again, is prime time for fishing with swim baits and crankbaits. You know, we've got post-spawn fish in here. They're coming into these shallow, warm bays. They're waiting for the ciscos and the perch to come in. They're feeding up, getting ready for the season. And it's a classic, actually a classic situation that occurs all across the country, but people overlook the option for big walleyes in relatively shallow water post-spawn. Right, what we've shown here thus far begins to provide a feeling for peaking seasonal periods for one fish species. At InFisherman, fishing is a multi-species affair, so pick a species. And part of the plan in catching the biggest fish centers around the identification of peak seasonal fishing periods. Pike? There we go. Last ice is a peak time for giant fish as they move toward areas where they spawn. Most big fish are caught on dead bait set below tip-ups. It's a calculated sit and wait affair. We've mentioned peak periods in ice fishing for walleyes and pike. Giant specimens of all the various species are vulnerable under ice at times. Fishing for most fish, including panfish species like perch, crappies, and bluegills, typically peaks at first ice. Anglers haven't bothered the fish for weeks, and water habitats are still brim with oxygen that diminishes as winter wears on. Exceptions include true cold water loving fish like the lake trout, which thrive and bite all winter long. 
Giant whitefish also bite well during the winter period. On the other hand, warm water fish like largemouths and smallmouths become particularly active at last ice as the ice melt adds oxygen back into the system. Starting to get the hang of it? Well, consider the two biggest sport fish in fresh water, the alligator gar and the white sturgeon. Fishing for gator gar is a warm weather affair, with much of the best of it peaking in early summer before the real Texas heat settles in. Fishing for white sturgeon on the Columbia River in Washington and Oregon often peaks in fall, while fishing for them on the Snake River in Hell's Canyon can be good already beginning in late May. So, no surprise that the seasons play a vital role in timing the bite for big fish, not just for certain species, for all species. It's a magical quest, this search for giant fish, a lifelong passion for many anglers. Perhaps it could even be considered an obsession. Anybody who wouldn't love doing this, if this isn't one of the greatest sport fish in North America, you tell me how it could get any better than this.